Assalamu alaikum, good evening and welcome back to 3G Preview. Um, after the break, we've still got our Young Men candidates with us and we've got another Young Men candidate, I believe was running late, but he made it with us. <laughs> he made it. <laughs> okay, so um, this is Khalidu. Um, he is also another Young Men candidate and I'll introduce you to him um, in, a, in a bit. Um, like I was mentioning before the break, uh, today's show is about the Young Mayor elections coming up in Tower Hamlets in a few weeks' time. And I think democracy in community for young people is very important. And I think young people deserve a chance to enhance democracy. And the whole point of these, these, these guys are standing for um, Young Mayor elections is to voice themselves and is to be a leader um, in our, uh, for young people. And I think leadership is very important. <coughs> So we'll talk more about leadership, we'll talk more about uh, what they want to do for careers and what they want to do for young people. So, but before that, let's introduce Khalidu. Uh, thank you for making it. Thank um, you for having me. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, what is your manifestos? Um, well, my three main priorities are to um, talk about e education and exam stress, one of them about safety and the other one about jobs and opportunities. Safety. So when you come to safety, you're talking more about gang violence, crime. Um, that is one type of it, but specifically I'm talking about, you know, there's a lot of people who have addressed the concern of trying to get home late at night and feeling like they may be at risk of something happening to them. But yeah, there are many forms of violence which we're always trying to combat. And as part of, you know, the Youth Council and all these different schemes, we always try to find, you know, the best ways to help safeguard our hamlets. Great. Um, people watching at home, you guys can call us and ask your questions to... Um, these uh, young men candidates. Um, if you're thinking about voting, if you live in Tower mm -hmm. Hamlets, you can ask them how you vote, where you go. Um, you can ask them why they should be voted in and what what makes them different from each other and why they have something different that they can offer. Um, this show is um, a build-up show to our 10th anniversary block show, 3G Boss. And we've got these guys on because I think these guys all deserve to be young men. I was speaking to them for the last half an hour and I just um, realised that. But um, we're going to talk more about your project. Um, so tell us more about the project you're doing and how it helps young people. So Project Forte is a project that I've actually been planning since I was like in year 10. <coughs> and uh, I created it with uh, a couple of my friends. And what it is, is a Saturday programme that incorporates non-traditional, non-academic subjects. So like drama, uh, and s stuff that's not included in school, so like sports, cooking, enterprise, international politics, and just things like that. And what I want to do with it is have a Saturday program where it's more theory based and not more theory based, less theory based and more practical based. And where it will culminate is uh, an accreditation or a uh, qualification that is optional. So young people will feel like they can actually do something with their free time mm. and like not feel like they're wasting it away, but also get more links and networking opportunities with yeah. careers and stuff Great. like that. Um, we'll talk more about that throughout the show, but uh, let's take a few calls. So, uh, Salaam Alaikum, who's on the line? Hello? Hello. <laughs> Hiya, who's on the line? Hello? Hello, can you put your te television volume a, a bit down so we can hear you? Oh, okay. Hello, hi, I want everyone watching to vote for Hannah. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You got any questions for the show tonight? Uh, yeah. Who's the questions oh, for? I'm for both of these. By the way, Hannah. it's Nisha. Um, and I wanted to say, um, I, I want a um, uh, point of view from everyone to see how, um, what they're going to do to take drugs off the street in Tower Hamlet. Great. Okay, we'll ask, we'll ask you guys that one by time. Okay, um, let's start off with Khalid. I think he's just got here. Um, okay, do, okay, you said one of your priorities was crime yep. and was to tackle that and make sure people are more safe. Drugs is a big issue in Tower Hamlets. Um, I live in Tower Hamlets myself and I do see uh, people taking drugs. I do see, I can smell it um, in tunnels and near bus station, bus stops. So it's a big issue. So how would you try and tackle that? I think one of the problems with trying to tackle drugs is that people always highlight what's wrong with taking them and not everything else that you know needs to go into it so social factors things like you know how they're interacting with their family and friends because we always try to focus on you know the physical damage that happens to your body and i think by addressing drugs as a social issue as well as a physical issue it will help us further understand and it's sort of like when we talk about fitness and things like that we always say you know something's bad for you but we don't say how we can change the fact that it's bad for you and change you into a different lifestyle so with drugs i would say that 
rather than trying to tell people, oh, it's bad, you should stop doing it, say, here's something which you should take into consideration, something which may be, you know, affecting your friends and family, and here's a way out of it, here's a route, rather than saying, you know, you've done something wrong, and we need to address that. Great. Let's take another call. Paula, good evening. <coughs> Welcome to Free G Preview. What's Hi. your name, and what is your question? Hi, um, I, my name is Asuma, and I just wanted to call in to ask um, Monsoor about crime and um, Khaled, I think. Um, I was just wanted to say, if he wanted to tackle crime, there's, the government can't even tackle crime right now. How is he going to help this? Like, right. it's such a hard <coughs> problem right now. I'm not sure how they would, like, they as young people would want to tackle this. And I wanted to say that, Zohor, I think you're doing really well in this campaign. Keep going. Stay strong. <laughs> okay, you. we know who support that is now. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're very yeah. um, spontaneous and you're very, you know, uh, subnormal, but we realise who support you are. Come on, can answer the question? Um, yeah. Um, sh uh, you said about tackling uh, crime. The, the fact, uh, what, my, uh, what I believe that should happen is we should be, like, um, making sure, we should be not encouraging it, that we, should, we should be discouraging crime. In as, as a as a factor, what we should be doing. So tackling it is probably a bit too big of a word, to, uh, a harsher word to be using. So we should be discouraging it more than actual actually um, just like trying to attack it at its core. The caller said, if the government, people who are in charge of the country itself, yeah. can't tackle the issue, they're still suffering. You know, the government ministers for crime, they can't tackle it. You know, MPs can't tackle it. They think it's such a big issue. Yeah. Um, how, as young people, would you think you can do it? I think I understand all you'll be doing is influencing and yeah. you guys will work hard <coughs> to stop it. But how, being y young people, would you actually make a difference? Well, young people are obviously stereotyped to be doing crime. And that's why I believe that we should be making uh, sure that we aren't being known for doing crime. So what we should be doing is making sure that we should be uh, coming off as better individuals. And if, if we are the ones who are being seen to do crime, then we should be showing that we're not doing it and we should be spreading the fact because we should be spreading in our community that uh, wh why we shouldn't be doing crime and how to uh, influence a, b a better factors. I think it's different when it's, I mean, one of my topics is health and, and I think it's different when it's peer to peer speaking about crime rather than someone you cannot really, like someone, a young person from Tower Hamlet can't relate to such as a minister. So when it's peer to peer telling you like, crimes are wrong and having more influence and speaking to you is completely different. Mm. Great. We've got another caller on the line. Wow, we're, bo we're very busy tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, caller, uh, welcome to Free GBB. What's your name and what is your question tonight? Assalamualaikum. Uh, Wa alaikum salam. What's your name? Uh, my name is Mahdi. Um, I'm the current young mayor. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, first of all, I'd just like to say uh, good luck to all the candidates. Um, personally, I know what everyone's going through at the moment. You know, it's a really exciting period. Um, well, I, I remember. Um, you know, whoever wins, I just want to say that they'll have a great experience. Uh, you know, of course, there's ups and downs, um, you know, of being young mayor. But, you know, it, it's, it's fantastic for whoever wins. Um, it's going to be worthwhile. Uh, I just got a question for um, the candidate sitting down at the moment. Uh, and that is basically... Uh, what do you think? What skills can you bring uh, to our borough? How can you impact our borough? Um, yeah, that's about it. Before you leave us, um, Mahdi, what's your last advice for these candidates? It's about a week in before the election. What's um, your advice for them? My advice, uh, personally, I think, um, you know, be honest. That's, that's, that's probably going to be my advice. Always be honest, you know, don't... Don't lie, don't beat around the purpose, be honest with whatever you do. That's, that's all I'm going to say. Great. Um, thank you, um, Mahdi. Many of you know Mahdi was on our show a few months ago, and I think he's done a great job as young mayor in our Hamlets. I'm a great supporter of his, and um, I wish him all the best. Um, so let's um, go back to the drugs question, mm -hmm. okay, before we go into Mahdi's question. How will you tackle drugs if you became young mayor? So Drugs is a very big problem and I think the way to go about it is to tackle it from the root. So we have to look at why people turn to drugs and what like, you know, what the root problem is. So I think if you give young people opportunities and things to do in their free time and like a pathway to a different kind of lifestyle, I think that's a, a key way to tackle drugs and it's more um, self-sustaining as well rather than 
like just cutting them off and just arresting them. That's not the way forward. Yeah. Great. Hannah, um, what skills, he was talking about skills. What skills yeah. do you think you have to be young man and, you know, be the figurehead of young people in a borough that's economically one of the poorest and economically one of the most vulnerable? Um, like he said, you have to be yourself. So I don't want to come across as someone serious because that is not me. If you just watch my YouTube video, you can see what I'm really like. I'm more of a joke person, but I will get the things done. I'm part of the youth council. I've done many projects in my school, helping out um, different year groups, targeting different year groups. Do you think you're a leader? I think I'm a leader. Yeah, we saw your YouTube video. You mentioned <laughs> channels. Now you're actually on channels. Yeah. <laughs> um, how do you think um, you become, what skills do you have to become young man? Well, um, the reason I started becoming a leader was I used to play um, sports when I was younger and mainly rugby and I had the chance to become a captain at that stage and I took the opportunity and from then my teacher started asking me, you know, would you like to be student leader, things like that and from there it sort of spiralled into me, you know, doing school council for years, things like that and it's something that I really enjoyed, something which I felt that was what I would like to do in the future. And um, from those thoughts, I decided to join the Youth Council almost a year and a half ago now. And I was only 13, but you know, I was already you know, starting to do projects with people, starting to do different opportunities and things. Um, I also um, took part in the Youth Opportunity Fund, so offering up to three and a half thousand to youth groups and people in the borough. And um, I thought, seeing as I've done all this stuff, what could be the next step? What could be the thing that I would do next and for me that choice was young mayors and it was a pretty easy decision to make considering all the work that you know Mahdi's done, the work that Nahimul did before him and the work that even Landry did before him yeah. and it's interesting to see what an impact they've made over the past you know five six years mm -hmm. and could I answer the question that yes, I again? Yeah she asked me um, about safety and you know governments can't address the issue well, the problem with that is, is if no one tackles the issue, then who is there to do it? We could sit here saying, you know, there's poverty, the government's trying to fix it, we can't do anything. But that doesn't mean we can't still put in an, some effort, because if no one's there giving effort, then there's no one really driving the force yeah, forward. definitely. So, you know, every little action that we do as our borough alone helps add up in the end. And, you know, it's not just about having huge entities and bodies paying for everything but we can actually make a change too. Yeah. Who could do this? Take another call. So call out your name and where you're calling from and what's your question tonight? Hello, any call on the line? Hello? Hello, yes, your name? Um, my name is Raihan Islam. Hi, Raihan. Hello, hello. Yep. Yeah, yeah, my name is Raihan. Yes, what's your question, Raihan? Yes, I, I go more per. Um, I want to ask Hannah a question. Yes, ask Hannah your question. You you talk about um, career guidance. Will, will you be um, providing career support on the whole, or will you be giving actual job to us? Because unemployment very 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 low, and and we all need jobs. Because in news you see sixteen and eighteen no job, and I, I need jobs. So will you be offering support or actual job? He asked a good question, and. Uh, like you, he's quite a good comedian as well. <laughs> so I'll answer, let you answer that question. Well, um, I say career guidance, meaning how I mean it is helping you decide on what GCSEs you want to choose, what A-levels you want to choose, and what even university you want to choose. Because <coughs> when I was in year 11, I got, that, I got that opportunity and I had no idea what I was going to do. But with that, I've become who I am today and made me want to do what, I, what I'm doing right now. So you think people should grab the chances they have in both hands and you know they should take um, things like career advice and they should take um, all these opportunities they've been given f so they can get the best outcome. Yeah because when I started in year 11 I didn't know what, what I was going to do if I was going to do enter enterprise or college or sixth form. Apprenticeship, yeah. Enter <laughs> apprenticeship, <That's> sorry. <laughs> um, but the um, caller was concerned over the fact that employment is low and young people can't get part-time jobs and of course li people in Tower Hamlets, a lot of people do have live on low income and they do depend on working for themselves to earn money that will last them for travel and for education. Um, that is, unemployment is a huge issue in Tower Hamlets and if anyone of us selected we will work with the mayor of Tower Hamlets and try to make that make that better for us because obviously we know we know that the employment's low we can't we are li not even living living off the um, 
EMAs got cancelled, so we have to live off the. Um, I'm not sure what you call it. May education. educations, yeah. But um, but if we one of us are elected, we will tackle that. But it is a main a really big issue. Great. Um, let's take an, another call. I know we've got a lot of calls tonight, but let's take <laughs> another call. The caller, um, thank, welcome to Three G Preview. And what is your name and what's your question? Hi, I just want to say um, I think the horse policies are great. Um, and with regards to the showcase of the event, I would like to ask: by celebrating diversity, do you aim to get more people from different backgrounds? to integrate with each other. Go for it. So I plan on hosting a cultural unity fair. So it, hence the word fair, because I plan on making it fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I want, so um, I feel as if things like learning about different cultures is something you have to experience firsthand. It might, for instance, like you won't stay in Tower Hamlets for the rest in your, of your life. You may like branch out to other countries, you may work to other countries, you may go to university somewhere else, and you will meet new people. And you're not taught co stuff like different people's different cultures and backgrounds. And having something like a cultural unity fair where you have so many different cultures, people from all around the world, under one roof, it make I think it makes people less ignorant because it allows you to think and know that everyone doesn't do stuff the same way as you do yeah. and you express and you learn how other people have different ways of expressing different foods they eat so i think it's something that it's something that's so important and it's just something that isn't taught in schools okay, okay. um i think tonight we've been discussing a lot about why people should vote um one of you and the skills you guys have but how do people actually vote i'm, I'm very sure the votes are in two weeks time but tell us more about the voting <coughs> system and how people can actually go and vote well, um, on the 28th of January in schools, there will be voting. Um, usually it will be in your main halls or areas like that. However, there is something we've got this year called early bird voting, where from the week of the 19th of January, you can go to your local youth clubs if you've registered um, on the Tower Hamlets website, which I believe ended this weekend. So if you have registered, then you can go and uh, do it from the 19th onward in the youth clubs. But if not, then it should be at every school on the 28th. Great. Monsu, um, your pol one of your final policies was about websites. Yeah. Tell us more about that policy. So um, this was um, an idea, that a project that I've been trying to devise as myso by myself. And um, so uh, it's uh, a project regarding work and work experience, for uh, uh, which is exclusive to Tower Hamlets. And um, I'm, I'm trying to be quite realistic with this, and that's why I, I believe that it can be achieved. So um, what is... Um, so for the first quarter of the year, I'm going to be uh, trying to research into companies and firms where work experience is uh, accessible and where it will be available. Uh, then for the next quarter of the year, I'll be making sure um, that, uh, so I'll be contacting these companies and firms and uh, trying to find out if it's available. And then um, for the third quarter of the year, I'll be um, creating the website, putting it all together, making sure that everything is done. And then uh, for the last quarter of the year, that's when, uh, so I know during October time, that's when most work experience placements happen. So um, that's when I'll be showcasing assemblies, the website itself, because uh, because I believe that young people should have uh, should be able to explore the options. So why shouldn't they? Great. Fortunately, we're reaching the end of the show. So we'll start oh from yeah. Kaladu and we guys. Yeah, if only we had a bit more time to talk yeah. about it. It's yeah. a great show. Um, but we'll start from Kaladu. You guys quickly, briefly, um, sum up why people should vote. You know what you guys have to be young men. Um, obviously, as I've said before, I want to focus on um, three issues, which are some of the biggest issues that I've heard of in Tower Hamlets. And the reason I say you should vote for me is because, you know, I've had so much experience doing things like this. And um, the next two years mean a lot to me in terms of, you know, how my future is going to go. I'll obviously still be a part of the Youth Council, but I'd love to become the young mayor for the people. And, um, you know, I'm not going to make promises like I can hand out, you know, free lunch passes to everyone in Tower Hamlets <laughs> or, you know, things that are out of, out of my reach. But what I say is I try to be realistic, even with the three things that I've proposed, they're things which I believe that I could do in the next two years. And I've spent, you know, the past year trying to plan on, you know, what I'm going to do for the next three years because I'm only 15, obviously still young. And so I've got a lot of time to go and a lot yeah. of things to, you know, yeah. venture Hannah, into. Yeah final words um, and why you should be voted in. Why you should vote for me. Um, if, you've, if you've watched from the start, you've heard my um, manifesto, what I want to do is to offer more career guidance to you young people, is some more education support for you young people and recognise hardworking young people like yourself. I could write a list of why you should vote for me, but it's sure you as the youth have to decide on who's the right candidate, who should you vote for, what is the best for you as the youth and the community. Mm. 
So um yeah, I'm Deng Yan and I think that I have got what no, it you're takes. Dang, you said <laughs> 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 yeah, but I think I've got what it takes of being young married because I've got a good work ethic and my manifesto is kind of like a development of things that are already happening. And you can't obviously you can't in a two year time you can't do anything radical. So I think a development of uh, what's already in place is the way to go forward and I can't tell you everything now so if you want to find out more about me my Instagram is Deng Yan YM great my name's Zoho um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean you should vote for me because my I think my manifesto points are so unique they are different and if the fact that I can my manifesto points are different I can bring a difference I mean mental health I think I'm the only candidate actually working on that something so important to young people today such as stress depression social anxiety it's just so many things I mean and my points are unique so as young people if you want more vote Zoho thank you yeah. <laughs> nice. uh, so your final uh, why you should be voted in my name's Monzo and um, yeah so um, <laughs> I'm just going to be I'm, I'm going to be real with the people I'm just uh, I just want to make sure that what happens to the bar, uh, what happens for the borough is the best for the borough and uh, which camera am I looking at so <laughs> yeah so um, this is your vote I am your hope I have everything that you need so don't even think just believe don't just listen to your mind listen to your heart so just vote for me the name is Monzo Ali Wow. So <laughs> <laughs> Muhammad Ali, yeah. Monta Ali, yeah? yeah. <laughs> 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 um, um, okay, guys, um, thank you for coming on the show tonight. I really appreciate it. Um, I think um, whoever gets in, um, I think it's an asset for Tower Hamlet. You guys are all great. Um, if, I could, if I could vote, uh, you know what, I, I have to tick, tick all the boxes. <laughs> because, you know, because the fact is that I've listened to all your manifestos yeah. and they're all great. And um, unfortunately, Kylo couldn't make it a bit earlier. So we couldn't listen to him properly about what he wants to do but uh, before we go you guys can all um, give yourself shout outs on your Instagram or Facebook yeah. let's start with Khalidur um, Instagram is ym underscore Khalidur and the same on Twitter except with capital ym um, my Instagram and Twitter are vote Hannah Hind uh, Hannah Hind H-I-N-D-E so it's Hannah Hindi <laughs> and I have a YouTube video I made out personally for you the young people it's at vote Hannah Hind 2015 um, yeah, my Instagram and my Twitter is DengyanYM and my YouTube video is just my name, Dengyan San, and my name is D-E-N-G-Y-A-N-S-A-N. Um, my Instagram and Twitter is Zuhur Young Mare, like Zuhur, the prayer time, <laughs> but <laughs> Z-U-H-U-R, I'm not named after a prayer time, so yeah, at Zuhur Young Mare. Uh, uh, mine um, is, uh, my Instagram and Twitter is Vote Monsa Ali, and um, soon my Facebook account will be, um, page will be <laughs> up there, yeah. yeah. And, um, <laughs> Yeah, and hopefully my young uh, my YouTube video should be out soon. So look out for that, guys. Great. Um, before we go, why don't we just take a quick <laughs> yeah. selfie on there? Oh, <laughs> yeah. guys, guys were talking about that um, before, so let's do it. Should I get my Snapchat as well? Do you want? Let's go yeah. for it. You go on. Oh, you guys go get it. <laughs> yeah. Oh crap! Still can't get you guys. <laughs> oh, you put it that side. You're right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, like yeah. I was saying, guys. Um, this is you right now. We, we had a, we had a great time on the show tonight, and I wish you guys all very well Thanks in your well. elections and I think the fact that you guys are working together crap collaboratively and you guys mm. are not uh, trying to see the demise of each other and you guys are not like oh, it's not you <laughs> just, it's, contempt, it's a good way of competitive spirit and I think this is not being done properly in an actual election nationally and um, you see mm. on the news you see how the way they quabble on the, how the way th they debate and it's not giving a positive light mm. upon young people and the fact that people like you are actually doing that it's great to see so thanks for coming on the show tonight. Thank you, uh, thank thank you, you for all the viewers watching at home. Thank you for everyone that called in. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get around to Twitter today and uh, reading oh. our oh. tweets because we are so busy with calls. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, thank yeah. you for watching at home. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we will be back on 3G Preview in two weeks' time with a new guest. So do tune in then. For more updates about 3G Boss or 3G Preview, follow us on Twitter at the 3G Boss. Um, until then, thank you very much and good night. <laughs>